Namaste. Good morning. I'm going to do a little practice this morning for shoulders and upper body. So just start to circle your arms and sockets. Nice big circle. Round and round. Just moving through your body gently. Bring your knees, ankles and the rest of the body into it gently. Big circle, bringing the elbow into it a little bit more. And you want to feel this through the ribs. Gentle, big movements. And now incorporate the breathing. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. A couple more. Yeah, just feeling your way into the movement. You might even want to let the neck get a little involved. It's gentle, no stress, no rush. Just feeling how your body is responding. Good. And then bring your arms up and down, up and down. Let's bring the feet in. So we're going to come up on the toes and down. Up on the toes and down. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. Feel from the ground that you're nicely earthed and from the rest of the body, you're fluid and soft. Inhaling and exhaling. From there, you're going to roll, cascade down, all the way to your level. And don't be in a rush to go to your maximum, up high, gently down, letting the head follow the spine, spine nice and soft and fluid, gentle, smooth and relaxed. Inhaling up on those toes, optional. You're getting a little wobbly. You can stay with your feet planted and let it become through the rest of the spine. A few more here, feeling your way into it with the breath. Inhaling, I'm going to stay down here now. So hang over, let the body weight Softly come through your back, bend the knees as much as you need. Put your hands on your lower back, interlink the fingers if possible. If that doesn't feel right for you, hold your wrists. Otherwise, pull your arms back, 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 and let them just go with gravity here. If you're not able to get down too far, maybe bend the knees more so you take the strain and you're supporting yourself on your thighs. And then move the arms side to side, feeling it in the shoulders. So for some of you, you may only be halfway. There may not be a chance to rest on your thighs and that's fine. You've got to work with what you've got going on today. Good, back into the middle, bring your hands back to your buttocks, release and take your hands down your body and then up to the tops of the knees, just above the knee joints and rest here. So you're going to go into cat-cow. So we've got the head looking forward, buttocks back, and you're rounding this lower lumbar, letting your belly hang out, which is the cow part. Inhale. And then to achieve the cat, we want to push the floor, through the feet, press down through the arms, round up through the back as you exhale and empty. Inhale, follow again through the spine, exhaling as you come rounding into an angry cat. Inhale as you go forward. How you doing? Exhale, round. Inhale forward. We might put a hiss on the end of our angry cat. The air out. Inhale. 
hiss the air out, let the air flow back in, hiss, and one more. Back to neutral. Press up your thighs with your arms and come to standing. Putting yourself together. Release. Feel how you fail through the spine. So we're going to do a little bit of hip mobility here. So we want to circle through the body. We've got a figure eight going. Just allow the spine to go. Nice and neutral. Good. And from there, let the whole body get involved. So you're just flowing free, free as a bird. Allow everything to go. So the joints are going where they go, the body is flowing through. So you get that nice sensation of just not holding back, just letting it go. Soft and gentle. Excellent. Let's come back to our shoulders, put our fingers on the tops of our deltoids here, shoulder, shoulder caps, and you're going to just go up behind you and then down and come across. So it's behind the head and forward. So if that doesn't isn't an option for you, just go to where they go. Again, no force. Up and forward. Up and forward. Lovely. So remember the shoulders are a really important joint for us as we age. They take a lot of strain from tension, grocery carrying, and improper use, too much use, and sad to say, for some of us, no use. <laughs> so you wanna draw, draw them in gently, don't overdo anything. One more time, behind the head and in front, and bring the arms down, shrug it out, gently release. Good, from there, I'm just gonna let the arms swing. So forward and back, bend your knees a little here, grip gently through your abdominals so you're turning on your abs and then you just want to reach out into the fingertips, reach out into the fingertips, um, let the arms go nice and fast so you've got a happy walk going on and then when you're ready without overthinking it, and I know this is hard, we want to let the arms go in the direction they're going without hitting anything in your room. All right, and then a little bit faster and get them up to speed. And then we're going to reverse it and back. Again, trying not to overthink it. So the other way to do that, I always tell my students in class, just do one arm, bring it forward or back, know which way it's going, and then sneak the other arm in. <laughs> Good. And then get it nice and fast again. You'll find your heart rate goes up. Feel like you've had a run around the block. And gently bring it down, down, and stop. Shrugging it out. Good. Little Tai Chi movement here. Just allow the hands to fall behind and across the lower ribs. Maybe you can get that arm behind you to come up a little higher. Just allow them to go. Good. And we're going to do a waking up the whole body with some meridian taps. So starting up on the head, top of the skull, gentle. You're not trying to wake up the neighbours, just gently tapping on your head and then go down the sides of the back, onto the neck. And then choose one arm and go down the full length of the arm on the outside, coming back up, down the inside. One more time. And then go across the 
collarbone and down through the other arm, up through the outside, down the inside, up the inside, uh, outside, down the inside. Good. Now let's take it into our pulse and breath. Ooh, waking up your thymus gland here. This is a really important gland for the immune system. So Google your thymus gland. You'll be pleasantly surprised and you'll be tapping yourself on the chest more often. All right, let's go down the side of the ribs, gentle. We don't want to leave, leave any bruising into the lower dentine area here, the ha center. Okay, down the backs of your legs. So you're going to go to your buttocks, down the back of your legs, bending. A little bit more time on the backs of the knees, down your calves, cross the front of the shins, back up the inside of the knees, into the groin. One more time, buttocks, hamstrings, backs of the legs, down the outside, across and into the inside, and back into the groin, lymph, coming back up, go under one arm, and across to the other, and back to the middle, good, shrug it out. And a little bit of stump stomping. So you've got your feet down. I want you to come up onto the toes and drop. One more. Good. And free it all up. Great. So I'm going to stop it here for today. And then I'm going to include in, if you want to join us for the next session, which will be some standing poses. So I bid you namaste, have a beautiful day. Thanks for joining me.